So today I'm talking about a Honda with a P2647 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Honda P2647 code? Well, it's an A rocker arm actuator system stuck on. And what does this mean? Well, some Honda engines have what's called a VTEC system that does different things. It helps the engine at high RPMs have better performance. And when it's at lower RPMs, it can help with fuel economy and things like this. And the onboard computer's seen a problem with this system, so it's got to be troubleshooting a why. And so what are some possible causes? Well, first of all, oil is flowing through this VTEC system. And so if the engine oil is low or if it's dirty, it's going to affect it. And so first thing to do, go check your engine oil and be sure that it's at the right level and that it's not extremely dirty. A very common problem with this code is that there's an oil pressure switch that goes bad quite often. This is very common. Many mechanics, when they get this code, they automatically go swap this out. It's because it is very common, it is on the VTEC itself, which is going to be mounted on the side of the engine. And you can go and test it if you want to. But this is a very common problem with this code, is that this rocker arm oil pressure switch has gone bad. And the next thing on the list is going to be the VTEC itself. And these have ports on them where the engine oil flows through. And quite often what happens with these is they have a little screen. And when the engine oil is dirty, it starts to clog up this little screen or just with age and high mileage or something like that, the little screen can get clogged up and then the oil doesn't flow through it properly and it can throw out this code. The whole VTEC system can't be replaced. Here's that oil pressure switch is right here. It's right on the unit. Some people will take it off, they'll clean it up and they'll put it back on and see if the code clears. But but they can be kind of a pain sometimes to get off since they could be down like on the side of the engine up against the firewall or something like that. It's gonna vary, it's gonna depend on the Honda. But if it is a pain to get in there and get out, then it might be best just to replace it with a new one. But like I said, some people will just go through clean them up, clean up this small screen, put it back in, see if the code clears. Then if it doesn't clear, then they'll come in and they'll swap out this oil pressure switch. And then if it doesn't clear, then they'll swap out the whole VTEC system. But however you want to do it, when you get a Honda P2647 code, this is what to go and look at. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P2647 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.